that spirit that reduces weight, reduces weight, reduce our 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 weight, I'm going to say all honor and praise be unto you, Alba, Shimei, Ashai. Double honors unto the apostles of great millstone and shalom to the sincere men out there teaching out there in the highways and bibles and Jews and sincerity. Quick point we're going to um, speak on right now, man, is um, Acts, man. You know, and basically, as again, I did it in my last video, as you see, spirits coming against these Christians, man. You know, and uh, so one thing is this, um, this whole speaking in tongues thing. Because if you grew up in the churches, as you've seen in the... the, the Clip I posted, right? That's just a pile of madness, man. You have Jake, a fat black woman, blah, 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 yeah, -la 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 -la, blah, having a fit and shit. She, she damn having a fit, can't breathe, you know. Blah, blah, blah. You know, she's all speaking in tongues, and, and these people think that that's what the scripture says when speaking in tongues, you know, in Acts. But let's give you the quick understanding of, of, of what it's, 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 it's talk, talking about, man. You know, like, and, and what speaking in tongues is, man. Just going to be a quick video. This is Acts 2. And when the day of the Pentecost was fully come, that they were all with one accord in one place. And, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. So, so now that the Spirit of the Lord came upon those apostles to speak in other languages and we're going to prove it and we, we, we're going to prove that speaking in tongues ain't some guy having a fit on the floor can't even he can't even um breathe no more yes jesus you know foaming out of the mouth we're going to prove it that's not that and they appeared unto him them um cloven tongues like because of a fire and they sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, so the Spirit of the Lord was upon them to prophesy in other languages and began to speak with other tongues. So now, if someone read that, huh? see, brother, tongues. Okay, bro. bro. And the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, devout men out of every nation under heaven. That proves you had Jake in other lands. Now, yeah, and they came to. Jerusalem, man, for um, for this uh, feast, you know. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together, and were confounded because that they heard every man of them. Oh, sorry. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. That proves it. They were cloven. The, the, the spirit was on them with cloven tongues. And those men, those Jews who came out of every kingdom under heaven, were, were baffed because they're like, rah, these men are prophesying to us in our own language. So that's what it was when they're speaking in tongues. When they spoke in tongues, they spoke to them in their own language that they were born. So if a person came from the land of um, Elah, they spoke in that tongue, you know? If they came from uh, Greece, they spoke to them in Greek, so on and so forth. You know, if they came speaking as a goop, or, or, or you know, speaking as a goop, guess what? They, 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 they could speak that language, man, because the Spirit was upon them. And they were all amazed um, and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are, are, are not these all which speak Galileans? And how we hear every man in our own tongue in our own tongue is he talking about his own tongue like your own tongue no he's talking about their own language right and how we and how here we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born so that's like how how, how are we going to hear these guys ain't these guys Galileans, bro i ain't in so how 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 the hell we going to hear these guys tell us about the truth in their own language what the hell is going on they, they were confounded man is how, and how we hear every man in our own tongue wherein we, we were born. 
Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia, and in Judea, Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in all parts of Libya, about Cyrene and strangers of Rome. Prove you have had Jake and Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes, Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. So not only did they speak in tongues of our languages, they understood. And that's the key about explaining what speaking in tongues is. Is someone speaking in a different language? Man, if you are a person who speaks tongues, so, so what do you just say? You'll be like, I don't know, it's a secret. It's a secret unto the Lord. Only the Lord know what I understand. I'm going to just stand there and open, open my, 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 my big mouth after I eat pork and I'm going to just shout. No. No. S stop. You know? That's right. Now, we're going to get a uh, first Corinthians 14. And, um, 14 and, uh, Fourteen and twenty-six. And twenty-six. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, and, and have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. So everything that is done according to the scriptures in terms of the teaching the word, teaching the gospel, speaking the word, you know, prophesying, praying and stuff, is only it's all done unto what? Edification. Which means to do um build, man. So so are you going to build up a person who, who's um sick and you say, Yes, yeah, yes, brother, I'ma pray for you, brother. I I'ma pray for you, brother. And you're just there going, Shabala, oh, sweating and shit. How, how the hell are you gonna be 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 edifying if you just stand over him and shouting at him and spitting in his face, man? You know, you you, you always see Jake sweating hard. Oh shit. You know, come on man. You know? It says, Let all things be done unto edifying. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, really, which which is an unknown language that those who speak into don't understand, but, 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 but let's say it, it, it actually applies unto that, that shit you guys do. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and by course, let one interpret. So, so when you guys speak in tongues, you, you guys say, it's a secret, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it says, but the scripture says, let's, let two or three people interpret, man. Well, when you're at church on Sunday, can your, 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 your greatest pastor who's ever existed, can he interpret his own words? So, so no, we can't. So, so what the hell, is, so that's against the Bible, man. Let one by, let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep 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 keep, keep silence in the church. So to be really to technical, really them churches should just just close down and shut the fuck up, man. Because you guys can't even in interpret um so called speaking in tongues, man. All right. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silent in the church and and let him speak to himself and to and to um God. So that's when they go, yeah, but we can't interpret it. But you yourself don't, can't even interpret your, your own words, man. You don't know what you're saying. Let the prophet speak two or three, and let the, 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 the other judge. So, so, so if you're saying, oh yeah, we're, we're all prophets. So if you catch, catch, catch the, the spirit, sh 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 shouldn't the person standing right close to you interpret? That just shows that speaking in tongues shit is bullshit, man. And, 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 and you Christians don't know shit. Let the prophet speak to a free and let the other judge. And if anything be revealed to another that sits by, let, let the first hold his peace. 
for ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn, and all may be comforted. For the spirits of the prophets are servant to the prophets. For, for the spirit, for God is not the author of confusion. So he ain't the author of confusion, man. And if you can't interpret your own fucking words, then that's confusion, mate. For, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the ch churches of the saints, man. So he ain't he the author of confusion. So, so if you're speaking in tongues, you're foaming out in the mouth. Ah, whoa, shit. So you're, you're, you're all fucking spitting out the mouth. And you can't even interpret your own words. Then, then, then that's confusion, man. Which the scripture says the Lord is not the, the author of. So with that, I'm going to say all honor and praise be to our but Shemel Shai. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. And Lord willing, I come back again with another sit down. That's dissecting key points in Christianity. So with that, I'm going to say all honor and praise be to our but Shemel Shai. Double honor and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere men. Shalom. Yabba Shemel Shai. Barakatam.